But on this last point about the stress regulation and things, um, what would you say to moms who are worried that keeping breastfeeding as a tool is going to delay the development of the other tools? Like, you know, you're, you might be mm. impairing your child from learning how to regulate themselves or like understanding that, that is, you know, they, they need yes. to grow up or, you know, whatever the argument might be. Yeah, that is such a good question. And I, I hear that from people all the time. And I, there, there's a couple things to say. Number one, I put up two fingers when I said that. <laughs> Number one is that um, your child developmentally, we talked about this at the beginning, takes time. So their developmental ability and capacity to utilize other tools or to be supported by other tools, it's not linear. So it doesn't just like, it's not this like progression that's like, well, they did it yesterday. So then today they're going to be able to do that one and a little bit more. It's not the way it works. Um, the way, like the state that they're in, all that kind of stuff is impacting their ability to access those tools. And I know when, uh, I believe it's Dan, Dr. Dan Siegel, when he's talking about like brain development, um, talks about it like this house that's being built and different rooms are under construction at different times. And so just because one area seemed like it was going pretty well, it uh, doesn't mean that it's always going to be that way. And that room might go under construction again. Uh, so their, you know, ability to have that support or, or to to be you know, self-regulating in a certain area or under a certain context or with certain things, it might seem like it's there and then it might kind of regress kind of, but it's really mm. under construction. It's under development, that's that side. So that's important. Um, the other thing is that what's really, really important, and I love that you brought up Dr. Greer Christianbaum um, at the beginning too, is that the most important thing is that your child's brain is learning that it can be regulated. So it's not so much about the actual tools that are being used at any moment to regulate and support your child. It's more about the fact that they are being calmed because what they're learning in those moments is I can be calm, though I can feel something intense because it's not that we never want our kids to ex not like to to experience stress. We they need to experience that stress. They need to experience the experience of having that stress and then moving back to a calm state and especially for kids three and under, they cannot do that without co-regulation, without external support. When when the cascade of hormones have started, the stress hormones, they, they do not have the ability to undo that. They require oxytocin and they require external support in order to move through that. Um, and so what the brain is really learning in that co-regulation state, whether it's from three and under or five or six or seven or whatever age, because we all need co-regulation at times and we all benefit from it, your brain is actually learning, oh, I can be stressed out and then I can be calm. And it's, it's wiring in a way that that can be possible. It's building the brain so that that pathway becomes easier and easier. And it's, it's there, just like we talked about, that's this really special time in, in the brain development. And uh, having that support built at that time means that it can be leveraged later on by other tools. So the tool isn't as important as the fact that it's happening. So a lot of times parents will start to get panicky, like, oh, like they can't self-regulate. Well, kids don't have the ability to self-regulate until it's it's just budding at age four right. right it's taking time for that to really develop and, and over time and even like you were talking about your daughter coming to you and saying that i need to breastfeed that is self-regulation like that is her mm -hmm. of her own volition of her own self saying i need this i'm coming to you for that co-regulation um and so that is her like beginning to self-regulate even though it's happening in the context of like co-regulation right mm -hmm. and a lot of times what parents are worried about is their child not being able to use breathing techniques not being able to use the calm down corner that they've built and all that kind of stuff on their own uh, and the reason why the parent starts to worry about that is because the parents dysregulated parents having a hard time you know it's actually what that means to the parent what does it mean about you as a parent when your child can't self-regulate in the way that you, you think that they should, right? And it's actually that distress that we're struggling with as a parent. And I say that myself included. And so it's us that needs to self-regulate in that moment. Mm -hmm. And sometimes our kids, they're trying. <laughs> yeah. They're doing the best they can, right? And it's us that are stressed out and like, why can't you just use the breathing tool, right? Or why can't you right, just, right. We're, we're trying to delay the breastfeed or whatever it is to like, oh, use a different tool, right? Um, 
And that doesn't mean that we can't use other tools or shouldn't use other tools. Absolutely. But you, you do need to understand when is the right time uh, to practice different things. And also, like, you can be intentional with the development of those other tools, but it's okay if you're not. Like, they're yeah, going to come. come. They're, you're, yeah, exactly. And I say that as as a lactation counselor and a parent coach who has a program who supports people, I don't, I rarely give people specific strategies on what to do because when I support them in their own kind of like, like situation, right? When they are back in a regulated state, the creativity that they have that flows from their intuition, from their wisdom, interacting with their child, they have, you, as a parent, you are absolutely like the expert on your child and you know those unique dynamics you understand your child what's happened that day what's happened that minute what your child normally likes whether it's on a cognitive like level you're actually like aware of it or not you do and 1000 yeah. percent of the time parents in my programs and that i'm working with come up with strategies that blow me away i'm like strategies. i, I, couldn't, have, I so, couldn't have told you that 